Hi, this is Chen. In this demo, I'm going to show you how you can use Photo-B for digital scrapbooking. Photo-B is very user-friendly um, and resource-friendly, which means you can import any background, any image as embellishment. In Photo-B, embellishment is used as a way called image, um, the shape brush tool. So the shape brush tool means you can use an image as a shape and you can apply that as a brush. So for this image I can use that as a simple click as a brush. Or in the same time I can just even use that to draw um some to draw using the image brush as well. Um in photo B when you do the digital, digital, for do, doing the digital scrapbooking, basically you have a background and you want to apply the embellishment. Photo B allows you to import the embellishment very easily. So if you have some all the embellishment in one image folder, what you can do is import that, find that folder, and say OK, you want to get imported. For now, actually, I have already some image already get imported. So which is called a PNG one. If I click on that, <coughs> you'll see there are so many a um, lot of invention already imported. Um, you'll see here there is a lot of invention imported. Um, for in photo B, there's options in br for the brush. There's using image original image. Um, if you're using original image, brush become very big. Um, probably won't be able to see it, but you can minimize other options. Um, you can scroll, make this even larger. All everything here is scrollable, um, as well as the um, um, as well as the this bottom part. Um, you can click on this to minimize. You can click on that, minimize that as well. You click that, come back, click on that, come back if you need that. Um, with photo B. Now with photo B you can um you apply those images directly with original image you can or without original image that you can use in your color, apply different color on that so you can give some special effect, say. Um so there are lots of options you can do with photo B. Um for example I can Okay, I can work on with a background image um, and apply invention with it. So basically, what I'm going to do is get a background. Um, one thing that you have noticed when you do the with photo, be better to work on with 100% zoom. So what you see is exact what exact final result. Um, after you get your invention in, then you can zoom to small size to do to do the uh, move or other adjustment. Um, when you apply the invention, make sure you're on 100% or zoom to original. So here I get um, a frame I want to use, so I can click on that um, and I can apply that directly. So I can just click on that. Um, Actually, this is a very small one. <laughs> um, I can delete that one. I can try to see whether I have a big one. Oh, actually, I forgot using the original image. So, see, this is the original size of that. So, if I'm using click, I frame get applied. Oh, it was too big. Um, but I can see that in the 30%, you will see that frame get applied. Um, in the same way, you can apply some other flower or related and mi let minimize this one as well. So I get this one, I can apply that one as well. Um, once you get all those applied, now you can what you can do is do some ad small adjustment. Zoom to certain size. So you percent it's easier to move next. You can right click, you can switch to move resize mode, move that, you can resize it.
Now you can apply your image into this. For be allowed to import an image as a layer or create a new, new image. Say I can import some image to become. Um, actually, I want to use some kind of photos. Um, some photos in my uh, my pictures. So here um, I got an image here. Um, and apply that image. Very straightforward. I can move that to this area. What I can do next, I want to move this layer to the bottom, right above the background layer. I can click all this angle to move that layer. Um, oh, one thing I want to show that you can switch this to see the layer name or switch the thumbnail. So what you can do, you can move that to the background, one more, see, that's how you move that. So you can do other things, you can switch to other, other place to apply different invention with it. Um, um, it's, everything is very smooth. Um, in Photobee, there is um, one more thing I want, um, I want to tell for digital scrapbooking. Um, so all the painting tools are here, so you can add text, um, you can using the smart tool or other kind of painting tool as well, there are cloning tools as well, um, and you can do almost any photo editing with photo B. Um, there's all kinds of layer options, um, I'm going to show you in later, but just want to give you an idea how friendly the photo bee can help digital scrapbooking. Um, thank you for listening to this demo. See you. Bye.